Alrighty, 9.53 from the cat in the hat, green eggs and ham to Horton, here's a who. The pages of these Dr. Seuss classics are being brought to life and a new kind of view. Yeah, this morning, Keith and Rachel are just across state lines up in the Springfield, Massachusetts area, the museums. Uh, there's a whole bunch of them right there in one little campus, and I think the uh, Dr. Seuss Museum is the centerpiece of it all, guys. Are you having some fun there? Uh, this is the first time that I've ever been here, and this is quite incredible. I mean, just all the colors, it really brings Dr. Seuss to life here. And what is so magical about this place, I think, is not only will it captivate your children, but parents are going to remember all of these mm -hmm. classic stories as well. It is a beautiful space. Daniela runs the show here in the Dr. Seuss Museum. Kay, you are the president of this campus, some five museums. Uh, this one of your many crowning jewels. Daniela, speak to where we are and what you love about the Dr. Seuss Museum. Well, right now we are in our Dr. Seuss building. Um, we are in Readingville right now, um, as you can see behind me. Um, but basically, uh, this is a place where we can do many different things uh, based off of arts and crafts, off his books, and many other activities in the other museums as well. One of the things that I love about this is, like you said, it, there are so many things for your children to do. Kay, talk a little bit about why this is so important to bring to the community in Springfield, but not only that, to folks in Connecticut, you are a quick drive from Hartford. Well, we think the Dr. Seuss Museum is a must-see attraction, and it's important to Springfield because a lot of people don't realize that Theodore, Theodore Seuss Geisel was actually born and grew up in Springfield, Mass. So we pay homage to that incredible legacy and all the things that he saw and did when he was a child that influenced his books. All right, and I know adults getting in for $25, kids $13. This place is childproof, which I love, but I do need to give some props to your husband, who I'm learning this morning, and I've been here before, but I did not know he hand-painted all of the murals we see in this space. It, it is magical. What do folks make of them? People are transported. They come into this museum, and they feel like they're seeing the books of Dr. Seuss mm -hmm. brought to life. It's totally immersive, and it just is a great experience that people exclaim about. And one of, the, all, one of the things that I love about this, Daniela, there's an arts craft, uh, arts and craft room uh, below. There's, we have some things that were donated from his family, him, uh, themselves, of things that Dr. Seuss had. Can you talk a little bit about that, too? Yeah, so on our second floor of our Amazing World of Dr. Seuss Museum, we have um, things donated from his home in La Jolla, California, uh, donated from his family and his stepdaughters uh, when he lived with them at the time, and we also have some letters that he had written to his great-grandnephew in just the other room. And I feel like that would be something that adults would love to be yeah. able to read and things like that as well. Listen, this place is ready for your family for school vacation week. Open from 10 to 5. They have activities packed throughout the week that people can see and explore. I have a niece and nephew visiting from South Carolina this week. I'm like, this is, check, this is the check place, and right? Check. Yeah, absolutely. And you get one ticket, five museums. You oh, can't beat it. Yeah, you can't beat it. We're going to explore more coming up in our next hour, but for now, I'm thing one. I'm thing two. No, you I'm should be thing, thing one. one. Yeah, you're, you're thing, thing two. two. <laughs> uh, Tim and Symphony, we'll send it back to you. I told you they're that were going to fight. Ooh, I think it's thing one and thing two. We know them too.